Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. This is going to be your reading for the week. These are not very long readings. They're, they're kind of short, actually. Um, actually, I put out yesterday, I put out your monthlies. So if you want to see them, they're a little teeny bit bigger than these. Um, so let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know for this weekly reading for anyone who's interested, anyone who uh, will resonate with it, anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Sagittarius reading for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading whenever they're guided. Sagittarius reading. All right, let's do it. What do we need to know? Sagittarius reading for anyone who's guided to see it. Weekly reading could resonate at other times whenever they're guided. This could also resonate later if you watch it now. Uh, it's for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see it whenever they're guided. Whoa, that's way too many. Just one or two Sagittarius reading, one or two at a time. Whoa, I cannot get your, <laughs> I can't hold on to your read at your card, Sag. Whoa, five of swords. What? What else do we need to know? Okay. Now they're happening. Five of Swords and Justice Reverse. So you've been treated unfairly in something. Somebody hears, oh yeah, something from the past and you're reflecting on it. So you're reflecting on something to do with unfair treatment. You have two fives here. All right, give me a little more information. What else do we need to know for anybody who, yep, there we go. All right, Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles and what else? All right, and the Hermit Reverse. All right, so you're looking back on something and you're getting clarity on it. So as we come into the reading, you have you you need clarity on something with the um, sun here and it's in the reverse. So you need clarity or don't have clarity. Look at this, another five. Three fives right here, five of pentacles reversed. Wow, all right, so definitely you're trying to all right yeah absolutely look at this okay so the hanged man is becoming enlightened about something trying to get this clarity trying to get clarity on something okay now the thing you're trying to get clarity on has to do with all these fives my goodness we'll talk about this fives are the most difficult place to be because you get stuck there and you go through a lot when you're in the fives these are the times that you look back and go wow i really went through a lot in my life at that time that's these times okay so we've got the ace of cups here on hold and it's a good one look at it it's a huge golden cauldron little skulls being you know brought up into the universe life regenerated right it's on hold though um because you're trying to figure something out you can't have this new beginning till you like i feel like you have to understand something that you've gone through and here's look at this you've got the two of wands and the three of wands reversed trying to figure out which way you're going to go in a situation what path will i take eye on the prize see the hunter sees his prize at the end there so you're trying to figure out which way you're going to go in a situation to get to this golden cauldron this is all about you trying to figure out how to get to a new beginning after a lot of fives Thankfully, the Five of Pentacles is in reverse, but you're still trying to get clarity on something with the Sun reverse. And as we come into the reading, not just the Five of Pentacles, but the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. This is unbelievable because it's such a teeny reading and you have three of the fives here out of eight cards, one, two, and then these six out of eight cards, you have three of the fives. That's pretty unbelievable. All right. So we come into the reading. You're just getting over a time when you felt lost, lonely, sad, left out in the cold, lack mentality, very drained. The sun is also a card of being drained. These are both cards of lack mentality, but you're coming out of it with this five of pentacles in the reverse, thankfully. But you still are dealing with something to do. Like you, you might have overcome something, but it, it feels like an empty victory. Like I overcame that, but I got nothing out of it, right? Um, and the five of cups, looking back on the past, looking at all the cups, 
thinking, God, I went through this and I went through that and I went through the other. And all those cups mean something as this person reflects back on them. You might still feel like, you know, you're being taken advantage of and treated unfairly and, you know, and you're just like reflecting on it going, why am I being treated like this? It's been going on for a long time. And this is how you're trying to view your new journey. How do I get to the new? You're trying to figure it out as the hang person, trying to become enlightened, and you're trying to figure it out while you're healing from this vibes that you've been in. What path am I going to take? And it all is going to take me to that giant cauldron new beginning. I just got to figure it out. All right, so next card up is the three of pentacles and it's really about putting in the work look how this person is like working with the universe like actually putting in the work the three of pentacles working with i feel the universe to make it happen now normally the three of pentacles are people working together but in this deck it always feels like somebody is straight up working with spirit god universe asking let's make it happen right getting enlightened with the hermit reversed here as well so you have the hangman and the hermit getting enlightened here there's a lot of enlightenment happening and even in this card this person seems to be really getting enlightened about something and you know the hangman all right seeking an enlightenment and by the end of the reading you have achieved it because the hermit's no longer searching for it they've got it so i feel like with this pay uh this knight of pentacles you're moving towards it see how this person's slowly moving towards the enlightenment and i really do feel like that's exactly what's going on here this whole reading feels like you've been imbalanced possibly about something from the past and you're trying to gain balance in your life and each of it is like a baby step you know you're figuring it out the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck but most methodical and most trustworthy so at least where you're going is you know this is solid it's not like you're willy-nilly moving forward towards clarity you have been putting in the time and the effort and the work and reflecting and seeing and taking in and accepting and this is all about you accepting you know all this enlightenment I haven't even started shuffling this yet, and the Five of Pentacles is at the bottom. Five by five is everywhere. We can't get away from it. All right, let's get some clarity around this. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Sagittarius. What do we need to know about this reading for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Sagittarius reading? What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Sagittarius reading. This reading could resonate now, or it could resonate later, or it could resonate at another time if you're guided to see it at any other time. Sagittarius, anyone with Sagittarius placements, or anyone else who's guided to see this reading, what do we need to know? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the messages they need the most. Sagittarius reading one more shuffle there we go all right so let's check out the five of swords what's important about the five of swords what do we need to know about it five of swords okay there's that hermit okay so we have the hermit here and again you know this could be a lot of mental activity that you have going on where you're like i need this enlightenment i want to know that this time in my life has not been for nothing and you do you go within and you start really reflecting on it tell me about this hermit in the upright over here i mean i'm sorry in the reverse over here what do we need to know about the hermit in the reverse please one or two yeah decision time the lady and the lord this can be a decision card this could also be looking into past relationships or looking into current ones tell me about the five of cups what are we reflecting back on looking at wow look at that wow ace of cups six of wands wow so this is like one last look back at the past and now you're making new decisions this is you getting enlightened about making a new decision to move forward. I feel like you're going to leave something in the past in the past and you're going to allow something new in. It's been a long time coming. Tell me about Justice Reverse. This is something that you're leaving behind.
Yeah, look at it. The Hanged Man again. You've got the Hanged Man twice. This is a teeny tiny reading. You have the Hermit twice and the Hanged Man twice. And the Hanged Man has been enlightened. No longer hanging in the reverse. Been enlightened about anything. You might be enlightened about a Gemini. You might be enlightened about a Libra. You might be enlightened about anything in your life. Uh, even a um, Pisces. Uh, anything. Anyone. Virgo's here a lot. Virgo's here a lot, actually, a whole lot in your reading. This really is some sense of enlightenment happening after a time. I almost feel like you went through a dark period in your life and you're about to see the, the light. Like the, the light is about to just shine down on you. It's like this. You were like just totally shut down. You decided to utilize the time to work on you from the inside out. And then all of a sudden, as you come into this reading, this is like the sun coming up and shining on you where everything's going to change in your life you've been enlightened in every way you're seeing things differently you're moving forward you're making decisions to move towards new beginnings oh wow the devil was at the bottom the nurture card so you are also releasing a time that you were in a dark space i really think you were tell me about the three of pentacles what do we need to know about the three of pentacles here Sagittarius reading. Why three of pentacles? The seven of pentacles reversed. You put in the effort, you put in the time, you've planted the seeds, and now I feel like you're seeing them grow. They're coming in for you. It's like you've done all the work and now it's time to see your harvest reap rewards. Let me look at this, um, this knight of pentacles. This feels so much like an internal thing, but could it be monetary? Maybe. Why is Knight of Pentacles here? What do we need to know about it for the Sagittarius reading? Oh, look how cute, man. Six of chalices. I love it. Look how adorable it is in this card, in this deck. It's adorable. All right, yeah, absolutely. So you're heading towards something. You could be heading towards a soulmate. You could be heading out of the past and into the new. You could be heading towards someone that you really care about that you can, even if they're, listen, you could be heading towards someone from the past. You could be, but it would be like brand new. So if this is, if this is you making up your mind that you're going to go in and it's been, you know, you've been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and you've been working on yourself and your internal self and you think something's unfair or unjust or something's been unbalanced and that's why you you had to work on you. You've done all this work and you're like, now I'm ready. Somebody here is ready to go in and come to a soulmate and say, now I'm really ready. Now, I don't want to, I know this could be a trigger warning for some of you. Some of you will be very triggered by that because you're going to be like, I don't want that SLB for my past. Look, not, that's not this. Okay. We also have your card of the Sith here at the bottom. That's temperance in this deck. So it's been all about divine timing all along. And you've needed to take a control of the situation as the emperor. Now, if this is not you then this is someone taking control to come into you. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, whoever does come in and does and do the does do this does this is bringing the sword of truth with them. So they're bringing the truth and they're coming and taking charge and they're coming and during divine timing. So for some of you, this is going to be a real full blown emperor. So this is not going to be some loser from the past, right? If for some of you, you are the one taking control to go in to make this offer. Somebody here is getting a new beginning. They're getting a new beginning, whether with, with someone from the past or with a new soulmate. But this, if this is a new soulmate, they're past life. Okay, so keep it that way. Let's look at it that way. If this is not somebody from the past who's a positive soulmate, who maybe you split up because you had to go to different schools or you, one of you moved away or your parents moved away or you haven't seen each other since high school, that kind of a soulmate. This is not somebody who drug you through the mud and put you in third parties and ghosted you and all that crap. No, this is not a yucky karmic soulmate. This is a positive soulmate. All right. So there's something coming in or around 
where there could have been a reason why you two were not together because it's been about divine timing but one of you needed to really work on your internal self maybe you both did because there's two of everything two hermits two hanged mans uh, multiple fives here where we could see somebody had to get work on getting themselves out of those fives um, fives are a very difficult place to be it's the hardest times in our life sometimes where we're stuck in those fives for a very very long time sometimes years so anyway guys let me know about this this is a new opportunity if it's someone from the past there's someone positive from the past if this is someone from the past and you don't know who that they're from your past they're from a past life okay and whoever they are one of you if not both of you has really been working on your internal self becoming enlightened and getting ready for what will be in divine timing a higher level two of cups as the temperance represents a higher level two of cups but only during divine timing when the timing's right and right now it's still on hold but the sword of truth is getting like it's like this emperor is picking up the sword of truth and getting ready to come in and when he shows up that's divine timing okay so i hope this makes sense to somebody i feel like this is coming in for someone it's been about timing it's been a long time in the making here with the seven of pentacles reverse this could have gone on for seven weeks months years three years months weeks i don't know seven and three are sticking out right there as timing cards for me um this could happen on july 3rd i mean it could happen like that let's get a little peek here angels what do we need to know truth yeah that sort of truth i told you the emperor is going to grab that sort of truth on his way in yep absolutely okay purification so this is cleansing everything this is from scratch right this is truth and this is birth brand new brand new so this person's going to come in and say either we just strip it down to bare bones and start over or this is going to be a new person to you in this lifetime like you don't you won't know them but you'll know there's a connection because they're past life for sure they are definitely past life anyway guys i hope this uh i hope you will tell me what this is if you know if you don't know i'd say be prepared right up until the summer i'd be prepared to, you just never know who you're going to bump into make sure you go out in public with your you know looking good feeling good smelling good okay all right guys <laughs> have a great week please do comment down below and don't forget to like the video it helps so much and don't forget to watch your monthly videos and all the other videos that are out there for you guys okay have a good one talk to you soon bye